I love football. I love this game. This game gave me identity. It gave me a sense of purpose. And for an African-American man, it's a great opportunity in America to be able to play football. The only thing I would ask them to do is when they put my bus in the hall tomorrow, I'd like to be somewhere near Lawrence Taylor so I keep an eye on that sucker. The defensive backs at that time did get paid a lot. Quarterbacks, running backs, linebackers. Defensive backs weren't paid a lot. And in my dormitory room at Florida State, I created this image, this thing that you could imagine. You could love him or hate him, but he was pride. Damn. At the age of 21, I already knew what I needed to do in order to make my mark in history. I wanted to become the all-time leading rusher, period. And you know what? I am. I am. I am now the all-time leading rusher. Excellence in football and excellence in life is bred when men recognize their opportunities and then pursue them with a passion. And I think that sums up what the players of the National Football League, the National Football League Hall of Fame stand for. It's called the three Ds. Determination, dedication, and discipline. Three traits that translate in any generation and any job setting. There's a reason they call it chasing your dreams and not walking after them. Don't hope someone gives you an opportunity. Create one for yourself. I'm now seeing the light that this is not an ending point, this is a beginning point. This is the beginning of the rest of my life, post-career, with a new team. Let's take a look at these guys, what a team it is. When I walk in his office now, Rich has a pictures of us, he has pictures of us at the University of Miami, and he has this nice, beautiful black hair, and then he has pictures of us now when he's all great. And he says to me all the time, you see these gray hairs? I say, yeah. He says, you gave them to me. <laughs> and I tell him, I say, well, you see those four championship rings you have? I gave them to you too. <laughs> my dad didn't so much, so much teach me how to play football, but why to play. He taught me to compete, to never give up, to play every down like it's your last. He taught me to appreciate the game to respect it, to play it like it was meant to be played. He taught me to enjoy my successes and learn from my failures. And above all, he told me to make sure when you go out with your offensive lineman, you pick up the tab. There are no more routes to run, no more touchdowns to score, no more records, records to set. That young boy from Mississippi has finally stopped running. Let me stand here and catch my breath. Let me inhale it all in one more time. I thought, I really thought, the bus's last stop was in Detroit at Super Bowl 40. But now I know the bus will always and forever run in Canton, Ohio. Home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Thank you.